Hey everyone, October is in the book. So I wanted to share with you our closed trades for the month of October, starting with our dynamic calendar spreads. Really good month for calendars this month. Uh, booked almost 15,000 in profits on 12 trades. Just two losers uh, with a win rate of 83.33. So calendar spreads continue to do really well, even in this volatile environment. And that just goes to the uh, methodology of how we trade these things. Good stuff for calendar spreads. On Iron Ducks, we had seven trades, seven winners, no losers, uh, a little over $2,100 in profit on our Ducks. Our biggest one was in SPX, about a 33% winner. Uh, Butterfly Spreads had six trades, three winners, three losers, uh, just small profit there, $235 for the month. In fact, one of those losers was an exact scratch, zero, but I. I counted it as a loser because you do have some commissions in there, most likely. Uh, and then option selling, we had um, 10 trades, only one loser, uh, a little over $2,000. Had our very first loss on our short strangle strategy in ZN. I mean, that market just kept pushing lower and lower and lower. In fact, if we had waited two more days before we closed that out, uh, that actually would have been a positive P&L, but can't do that. That is hindsight. We show all trades, winners and losers. Uh, still a nice positive month in our option selling strategies, a little over 2000. Day trading continues to do well. Uh, Dr. Chad is running our live stream. Uh, he booked over 6,700 in profits in October. I only day traded two different days, uh, 527 one day and 660 the next. So a little under $1,200 for the month on day trading for myself. Uh, by the way, for day trading, uh, one of the reasons I have not been day trading these strategies as much because I've been testing a new day trading strategy that we're going to be rolling out to our community very soon. So pretty excited about that. Uh, NTT, which has been one of our staple, consistent profit puppies, uh, a little bit down this month, down 7, 7K. This is the account that I opened last August with $20,000, had a run up to uh, about 73,000. Uh, it's in a little bit of a drawdown right now. It's at about 67,000 as we speak. So still profits overall, but in a drawdown right now. Uh, if you can see the uh, the win rate this month was pretty atrocious at about 30, uh, a little over 30%. It's usually between 55 and 60. Our average winner, still bigger than our average loser, but that win rate uh, was, was, the, uh, was the problem there. So look for that to bounce back here over the next couple months. And then lastly, I did take one, what I call an other trade, because it doesn't really have a category. This was an earnings vertical I took a shot with. Tiny trade in uh, Meta. Meta dropped about 20% after earnings, so that didn't work out well. So just took a $410 loss on that one. I usually do this once a year, but figured I'd just key you in on where we're at for the year. Uh, here's where we're at on calendar spreads. We're up over 53,000 for the year, uh, which is our most profitable strategy. Uh, we use the most capital on that one as well. Iron ducks are actually in the red a little bit, down 3,000. Butterflies have been our worst, down almost 12,000. And not to excuse this away, but you know, with uh, June and September, there was definitely some trades that I let get away from us. In fact, Iron Ducks as well, especially in January, had too many positions on and let some losers get away. So part of that, I just blame on me, not necessarily the strategy, but we show all winners and losers. So it is what it is. Uh, NTT uh, up almost 39,000 for the year. So that's been our second best uh, as far as overall profit goes. Option selling, we've had very... Uh, few losers all year in this. Uh, we, we do use a little bit smaller position size, but almost 9,000 in profits on those trades. Uh, day trading, almost 30,000 profits. By the way, I'm showing zeros here. We were day trading, but I stopped tracking my performance because we were transitioning over to Chad running the live stream. Uh, I know there were, pro there were profits in there, uh, but I didn't, I wasn't really tracking them. So I just put zeros here. Uh, so in fact, that's, that number is probably a little bit light, but, uh, but that's okay. And then other, uh, a little over 3,700. So up over 119 for the year, uh, total profits for the month with all strategies, almost 20,000. So two more months left in the year. We'll look forward to continuing that momentum and, uh, finishing strong 
If you're interested in following what we're doing, just go to navigationtrading.com uh, slash pricing, or you can click on the pricing button at the top of any page at navigationtrading.com. We've got a few different membership options. Number one, we've got a free membership. If you're just starting out, we give you five core strategy courses. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, our, we've been told our free membership is better than a lot of paid memberships. So if you're interested, you can check that out. If you're really serious about getting access to all the different strategies that, that I went over here and real-time trade alerts, access to the live stream room, all that good stuff, you can get that with Pro All Access or... If you want to just focus on one strategy at a time, you just want to join uh, one of the strategy memberships. We have one. We have an individual membership for calendar spreads, one for butterfly spreads, one for NTT, one for day trading, one for iron ducks, and one for option selling. So if you just want to focus on one of those, keep in mind, all of those are included. Everything's included in the in the pro all access. So if you're serious about becoming a professional trader or consistently profitable trader uh, to see exactly what we're doing on, on all of these strategies, pro all access is the way to go. So navigationtrading.com and click on pricing to get here. Uh, look forward to having the la uh, next couple of months to end the year be good ones. So look forward to having you join us and we'll see you on the inside.